In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how to incorporate figures from GeoGebra into a LaTeX document. Okay, so we're going to be using two programs here, or actually two websites. We'll be accessing GeoGebra in our web browser, and we'll be using Overleaf for our LaTeX document. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, in Overleaf, I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. And I'll just make it a blank project. Um, I'm going to call it Homework 2 since it's the second homework assignment for our class. Actually, maybe I'll call it LTX2 since that's the way I named the file. But call it whatever you want, so we'll create a blank document there. Okay, now I have um, downloaded a tech file from our Canvas course. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and open that here. That should open just with Notepad. You can't see it right now. You don't need to see it. I'm just going to select everything, copy it, and paste into my editor right there. Okay, we can recompile to see what this is doing. Okay, so let's look at this right here. So given this function, find the critical points, use the second derivative test to determine whether your critical points are relative max or min values, use GeoGebra to draw the graph showing the coordinates of any extrema. Okay, so it's a little calculus problem. It's a calculus problem about finding the max and min and drawing the graph. Okay, so we can use GeoGebra to create this figure for us. Okay, so let me uh, kind of get my code highlighted here. Let me make it a little bigger so perhaps it's easier to read. Maybe, maybe it doesn't need to be that big. Okay, but there's something kind of important up here that we need to have in place, okay? Notice I've got several packages included in my LaTeX document. It says use package AMS math, use package AMS symbol. Okay, those allow for a wider variety of math symbols, right? I've got my comments here saying what the various commands do. And this package, graphic X, is used for including pictures in your LaTeX document, okay? So it gives us access to some commands that we otherwise would not have. So I've got GeoGebra opened up right here, and I just went to the website geogebra.org. I'm gonna click Start Calculator, and it will bring up this little graph and calculator window. So over here on the right-hand side, I can actually plot my function. I can do f of x equals, now I think it was a cubic function. Let me go back to overleaf and check. Okay, it was x cubed minus 6x squared. In fact, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that over here. Okay, so it gives me the graph of my function, okay? Uh, these are the maxes and mins. It also highlights the intercepts, but I don't think I want to show those right now. Okay, so um, we will still need in our LaTeX document, we will still need to put in the calculation showing how we get the max and how we get the min by finding the critical points and doing the first derivative test, but I want to do, uh, let me go to the menu here, and let me get a point. I'll plot a point right there. And I'll, in fact, actually, you can do this right from the, nope, get back here. Okay. Right from the calculator window. I'm going to do the point A equals, and this point up here, it looks like 1 comma 5. Okay, so it'll do a static point at 1 comma 5. 
And then I'll do B equals, and that other point there looks like 3 comma 1, so I'll, I'll plot that to highlight it. Um, you know what might be nice is maybe instead of showing the function or the object's name, we'll show the value. Okay, so rather than having an A right there, it'll just it'll show us the coordinates. So in our picture, it'll kind of highlight the X and Y value of our max and min. So we'll change that to value as well. Okay, uh, let's X out of that. Okay, neat thing about GeoGebra is you can actually move the labels around. Okay, now to get my picture into my LaTeX document, I'm going to need to export my screen. And to do that, you go up to the upper left, and you click on that little thing that brings up the menu, and then you go to Export Image. And you can download that image. Notice what this does here, okay? It gives you an exact rendering of this window. Now, this isn't quite the way I want my picture to look. Look at all this wasted space here. I don't need to see all this, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drag my uh, graphics view so that the picture is a little more centralized. I'm gonna kind of zoom in a little bit here. Okay, zoom in on the action. Uh, maybe I'll even kind of cut my window down a little bit there. This is really what I need to see. Right? That's a much better picture than what we had before. Okay. Um, I can actually right click on a graph and, okay, maybe I'll make this uh, my x axis. Uh, so give me tick marks every one unit on the x axis and on the y axis also every one unit. Okay, cleans it up a little bit. Uh, my grid. Okay, this looks a little bit better, a little bit cleaner picture. Okay, so I'm going to go and export this. So export image. I'll download it. It should let me, okay, it says GeoGebra export.png. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open that in a folder. And I'm going to rename that file because I want it to be a descriptive name. Okay, so you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'll call it O exercise one figure. Okay, now, so I created my figure in GeoGebra. Now, to include that in Overleaf, okay, what I need to do is I need to go back to Overleaf and I need to upload my figure. Okay, so I clicked, did you see where I clicked? I was up there, right here, Upload, and I'm going to select it from my computer. Okay, now... It's in my downloads folder because I downloaded it and I renamed it to exercise one figure. We're going to open that. Okay. So now we've got exercise one figure right there. Okay. So now to include it, I'm going to include graphics. Okay. See the command pop right up there. Exercise one figure.png, you got to include your full, oh wait, no, that's the options, sorry. Uh, the file name should go over here. Okay, so I'll put that in there. And here you put some options here. You can scale it, so scale equals 0 0.5. You can rotate it if you want. Things like that. Okay, now let me go and compile this and show you what's happening here. So let's recompile. Okay. So now we can see that the figure is included in my output. Okay, notice it's left aligned. I might actually want that to be centered. So what I can do is I'll go to my source code and I will 
center it. I'll do begin center. Okay, and begin center end center. And I will make sure that I put the include graphics command in there. Could make it a little bigger. Let's make it, I don't know, 0.75. Okay, and we will go and recompile our PDF. Okay, and we can see in our output that our graph is it's looking a little bit nicer there. Okay, now if you want to make a change to your figure, okay, you're going to have to go back in GeoGebra, change the figure, re export it, re download it, re upload it. Okay. So make sure you kind of got the figure how you would like it to appear. Because you can't quite, um, if I just make a change right here, nothing is going to happen if I recompile, right? This is just going to give me the same picture back again. Because in the file I've included in exercise one, that's the information, okay? So that's a bit about how to include some graphics in your LaTeX file.